Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Clash of Clans. This is the continuing series of how to 3-star the Goblin levels. This is level 15 called Immovable Object. I'm not sure what Immovable Object is in this. I believe it's probably the Mortar. So what I'm going to do is give you some advice based on the way I think the mission should be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to expose some bombs by sending in some goblins. Let's see if there's any bombs in here. Okay, there's a spring trap. There's a, another spring trap. I'm going to send some more. There's a bomb over there. There's a bomb over there. Another spring trap. So I want to try to get as many traps out of the way as possible. So I sent those in first. Now what I'm going to do is try to take out this archer tower because in my clan castle I have two balloons. If you've watched some of my earlier episodes, I've been recommending that you take, that you upgrade, up, basically fix up your clan castle join a clan and request balloons for a lot of these missions. So what I'm going to do here is send in some giants. Behind the giants I'm going to send in some archers. Now I have level 4 giants, level 5 archers. You might have less, like lower levels at your town hall, but the basic con concept is the same. I'm going to send some giants in, and like I said behind them I'm going to send some archers to take out the archer, to take out the air defense. Now you pro you may need more. Um, I'm not really sure. Depending on the level of your giants, I would recommend you take out you use um, the goblins to take out the traps first. So as you can see, the the archers, the giant, and oh, they're all getting killed. But it doesn't really matter right now because I'm going to send in my balloons. Now I have max level balloons from the from my clan. That's one of the advantages of being in a clan is that you can request troops that you are not um, you are not able to produce yourself. So I'm able to produce level 5 balloons. These are level 6 balloons. And as you can see these balloons are just going around without any air defenses to attack them and just taking all the buildings out. Now I don't even have to send any more troops in because the balloons after taking out all the defenses will take out the other buildings. So if you're, if you're trying to actually save money or elixir or gold then I would recommend just taking your time, letting the balloons take out everything, and saving the elixir that you would have spent on other troops. The one advantage to, to the goblin missions is that you have as much time as you want. There's not a three minute time limit like regular missions. So here we go, last building, and it's an easy three star. So thank you for watching, and please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.